Hello everyone, it's me Rainbow Hooves here. I got a new stand. Finally, right? Were you guys tired of the handheld? Because I sure was. Now I can just have it be stationary. Ain't this great, guys? I'm back to leveling up. Enough of this downgrade crap. I'm back, especially with a new chair. Got a proper chair, not a tiny weenie chair. And look, the vest is back up with the chair. Feel proper again. I feel I feel like this is before the dark times, before the before COVID. This 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 feels like a 2019 chair. <laughs> you know that that genuine 2019 smell too. Like let me just give it a whiff. Ah, <laughs> yeah, man, that's 2019 right there. No, look, okay. So, I have an announcement. I have an announcement, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I'm editing. Crisis of the Multiverse. Yes! If all you people, you f beautiful fans, remember a long time ago, I wanted to do Crisis of Infinite Earths. Well, I'm not doing that, but I am doing something incredibly similar, and it's called Crisis of the Multiverse. This will be the combination of every storyline ever that I've ever done. This will be my magnum opus. This will be this is everything that it's ever built it up to. And the thing is it's always built to this. It was always building up to this. Every ever since Crisis on Infinite Earths, ever since it was even announced that I would do Crisis back in the days of me doing fan films. It was always going to go down this road. Always. I just had to find a way to lead up to it. But I never could. Because after my main star leading, leaving, not leading, after the main guy leading, it le just did it again. After the main guy leaving, and after my other person leaving, literally every, pretty much my entire cast, that was it, and then COVID happening, I was literally left on my own. So, I had to think on what to do. So, I tied in my stuff, my Doctor Who, my fan film stuff, not my Doctor Who stuff, my fan film stuff in general, to my storylines. And of course, that led down this road where eventually it would get to this. And honestly, I prefer this. And as you can see, if you can see it, it's long, but it's not done. This is going to be a long one, guys. This is going to be long. This is probably going to be the longest film I've ever made in my life. I feel nervous. I'm nervous. Because there's this thing with long films. Like, what if it's bad? What if people are going to hate it? And then I remember you guys love anything I do because you care about it that much. Thank you. And I hope I can live up to that. It's all been leading to this. Let's do it. 
You guys are gonna love it. At least I hope. Well, uh, <clears throat> do I have any error announcements? I do, actually. Um, so, there's this thing called Hourglass Universe. I think I've mentioned it a couple of times. I am part of that universe. I am the 25th Doctor. Uh, yes, they are that crazy enough to make me part of their universe. But... It's not like the shared universe. It's not like the shared YouTube universe where it was crazy bonkers and shit. <laughs> it, it's it's professional, to say the least. To say the most, it's unprofessional. <laughs> but at the same time, it's also professional in a way where it feels more planned out. It feels more... Feels good. <laughs> it feels good, guys. I don't know. Um, essentially, essentially, it's a really good. Essentially, okay. So essentially, what Hourglass Universe is, it takes place after the Twelfth Doctor. So if people. So, for the people who don't like Jodie Whittaker, not sure how, but okay, let's pretend that there's a different Doctor. And there you go. That's the premise. That's not the premise. That is just my description. Which sucks anyway, so... Right. That never gets old. Anyway. Uh, so, yeah. Hourglass. Um, Hourglass universe. That's what I'm a part of. Uh, any other announcements? Uh. Yeah, there are, actually. The shared universe, the shared YouTube universe, is dead. I've said that plenty of times. But something good and something better will take its place. It is called the Phoenix Universe. Hold your applause. I know, I know, I know it's shocking. Oh, William, you need something Phoenix? Jeez, it's not like you did that already. Yeah, well, you're right. Um, it's called the Phoenix Universe, and it's my, it's my universe, and it'll be different. It'll be better planned, maybe improv -y. Let's be honest, I'm not one for scripts, so yeah, a lot of improv. But hey, that gives a better challenge, that gives a good challenge to the actors. Because, yeah, you can follow a script, but can you just improv your way through it? That's the better question. Is that me just saying stuff? No. I'm serious. I, I really am. Because people can... Uh, I don't know. A good actor can follow a script. A really good actor can improvise a script. And a brilliant actor can improvise his way through a scene. That's my that's my thought process on that. Um, I can kind of do that. But I won't say I'm brilliant. I'm, say I'll, I'm saying I'm decent at it. I don't know. Be honest, I might do still. I might still do scripts, but it might still be improv. -y. 
I don't know. Improv is just how I am. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, most of Crisis is improv But it's not improv in, oh, it's just nothing. It's improv in a way where... It's improv in a way where it's a set... It, 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 where I still have a plan. I still know what I'm doing. It's not like before where I had no idea. This is this is a set plan. I have a plan. And I, and I plan on sticking to it. Yeah, no backing out this time. Because I actually have a 13th Doctor, and I actually have a future incarnation. So, not only do I have a past, but I also have a future. We all know the present. It's me and, uh, Mr. Streambeam. <laughs> uh, if you guys don't know, I don't know what to tell you. Go watch my old shit. In fact, I'll link in the description. There's a playlist. Uh, in fact, I may not, because editing hooves. Mr. Reddit hooves. Edit hooves. I, I remember getting a comment recently. Someone was just like, put edit, edit and hooves together and you get Reddit hooves. Really, dude? Where'd you get the R from? It confused the hell out of me. <laughs> but I hearted it anyway, because... The fact that these people are even coming up with that, it's just like, bravo. Love you guys. <laughs> uh, you, you guys have... You guys are good to me. Um, I never say that often, but you guys... The fact that you guys can comment and say something like that is just like it's just so cool. Like it, it really is cool, man. <sighs> yeah. Anyway, um, I think that might be it. <laughs> I don't know. I thought I had another one, but nah. I think that's it. I already I already announced I had a job. Um, Oh yeah, finally had my graduation party. Took two years, two or two or three years. Met my friends again after the long COVID apocalypse. Um, I'm not monetized at all, so I can say COVID all I want. <laughs> um, yeah, that, that was fun. Seeing my friends again. Um, got to see Sarah. If you guys don't know who Sarah Tully is, she was the camera person all the other times before COVID. Uh, Cody didn't show up. Jess didn't show up either, which is fair news. Cody had a reason, just never got in touch. But that's life, you know? You, you never... You never know. Sorry. You didn't hear me mope. You didn't want to hear me mope. So I refused to mope. Because moping won't get me anywhere. Tried that for two years. Didn't get me anywhere. <laughs> um, but yeah. Oh! And I went to TrotCon again. Uh, I don't think I mentioned the fact that I went to Trotcon before, but I did. And then I went back, and I got the secret ship pick folder. Card game. Yeah, you guys remember that one card I got? I 
think, I don't remember which table I got it from. I think it was from, was it from Sky Railroad? I don't know. I, I got it from, from someone. And that was the only card I had from that, from that deck, from that game. And then I bought the entire thing and some other packs as well that they just handed out for free, which, thank you. I, I won't squander, squander that. I, I just, I just, I just now read the bottom bit. Shaping is what happens when I decide that two ponies love each other very much. <laughs> you see, this is the stuff I love. This is how my little pony keeps going. Stuff like this. I love it. Oh, yeah, and Sky. Um, if you guys don't remember, Sky Railroad made a card out of me. Well, because I purchased one, but the fact that he made it is amazing. And he actually knew who I was. I was in my rainbow vest and I had a mask on, so my face was sealed. But he recognized my, I think he recognized the rainbow vest. It was just like, rainbow hooves! I almost cried. <laughs> I, I, I would have cried right then and there if I wasn't really tired. It was amazing. Someone recognized me. And it was the guy who made, makes the cards. Someone from the Brony fandom. Like, I haven't been in touch with the Pony stuff in a while. But the fact that someone recognized me, despite that, knew my name, knew my channel, I almost cried. It, it felt weird. It felt good that people knew who I was. Will this go to my head? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> but... I love it. I finally feel like I'm a part of the world that I've been shut off from for so long. But yeah. Sky, if you're listening. Hey, man. Um, yeah, check out Sky Railroad. Here's their socials. You can't see that in there. Uh, they're on Instagram, Twitter, uh, DeviantArt. I was going to say Facebook, but that's not it. Uh, Fern Gully. What's it called? Fur, 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 furry. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that's it. Um, that's all I really wanted to say, really. So, yeah. With that, uh, with that being said, with that being said, I'm Ren Behooves. Be yourselves every day. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.